Alright guys, so welcome to my new series. This is How to Invest Your Money into Pokemon Cards, Episode 1. And I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. So let's just jump right into it, and I'm excited to suggest these ideas. So, number one, the best thing to invest in is card singles. I know most of you guys don't, don't think that probably is the best thing to invest in, but just hear me out, okay? So this Pikachu Hollow card you can get from a Sun and Moon promo, which I'm pretty sure you can get this card if you buy a blister pack that has the promo. And that's just spending five bucks, and this card is worth three forty nine to ten dollars, near mint condition. Now, lately there has been a huge, huge surge of Pokemon fans and especially collectors. So, like. The way to fight against this is whenever Pokemon starts to die down, everything in Pokemon will just decrease in price. Like before 2020 hit, you could buy a base set Charizard unlimited for like a hundred dollars. And now it's just here, let's check this out. Base set Charizard unlimited. The prices on this thing soared. TCG player you can get it for 120. Most places like Troll and Toad. That one's uh, actually PSA graded, though. That's a proxy. I don't think that one's a real card for 150 bucks unless it's damaged. But the thing is that you used to be able to get these cards from 50 to 100 bucks. In most places, you just can't find it for that price anymore. I mean, you can, but they're usually damaged. Like this one right here, I would say is more than likely damaged, and it's still 300 bucks. Proxy cards. You gotta watch out for the proxy cards, but there's a lot of Charizards here. The prices on these are insane. You used to be able to get these for fifty to hundred dollars before 2020, before the surge. For some reason in 2020, though, everyone is just now opening up Pokemon cards, um, so it doesn't really help. And Charizard, it will always be one of the most expensive cards. Everyone loves them. Everyone made uh, loves the three first starters, which is Blastoise, Charizard. And of course, Venusaur. They love those cards, and there's no way to actually like invest in them unless you have a good amount of money. See this one right here, Damage slash Heavenly Played, 225. It's just insane how these cards increased. So my suggestion is, what I do every single day whenever I buy my card singles, to so say if I want a Charizard single card, I get on Troll and Toad every single day. Look at the price, so this is like nine ninety four for Charizard GX. And a couple of days ago it was I think it was like seven fifty. But if you see an increase in card price, a good thing would just be to put it in your cart and buy it. So then it doesn't increase any more out of your price range. That happened to me with which card? Oh yeah, this card. This card used to be not eighteen dollars. Used to be 14, I know that for sure, because my friend has this card, and we checked it. It was only like 14 to 15 bucks. It's 18 to 70 dollars now. So this is where you gotta check, like every single day. This card's six dollars. It's decreased in price since last time I checked. Last time I checked, it was a seven dollar card. So right now, it'd probably be a good time to buy it since it decreased in price. This one's still 25. See what I'm doing here? You just check every day and see if the price increased or decreased. Wow. Okay, this Charizard right here <laughs> increased in price last time. <laughs> oh my. The Hollow Rare Charizard. I have one of these from my De uh, Detective Pikachu set. Last time I checked, this card was $15, which was about last month, I believe. Last month I checked for this card. I don't really like the card, but apparently it's becoming quite popular. Okay. It was $50. Now, last time I checked, it was only 15 This one's $8. That's not a change. Uh, that might be a change, I don't remember. But you just go through, and if you have to, you can always pull out your good old notepad, write it down, and remember the prices. So then the next day you come on, if it's more expensive, probably best to buy it because it's getting more popular. Um, I know like the Black Star. Oop. I haven't checked the Black Star promo cards in a while, but I used to be able to buy a good amount of them for like a dollar a piece. This one I bought for I think around $10 at one point in time before the huge Pokemon rush. 
This one I bought for two dollars, and now it's up to seven eighty nine. I bought like four of these. This one I also bought for like five dollars. But all these cards have increased in price because they're becoming more and more rare, and everyone just wants the nostalgia. This card, I literally bought for a dollar, one single dollar. I bought this card for back in I believe late 2018 or early 2019 I still have the card on me I also had this Eevee sh getting expensive see I sh like these cards before this Pokemon uh, po uh, collector started going back to Pokemon before they did these cards were dirt cheap compared to what they are now like this card used to be three dollars this card used to be I, no, actually I believe this card stay the same but you just gotta keep an eye on these cards and see what changed like the price range. If they're going up in price, you might as well just say, heck with it, buy it, keep it. But if they're going down in price, also, just do that. Just just buy it. If you like the card, buy it. If it's decreasing in price, because it'll more than likely start increasing again. You just gotta use your own thinking. So like, if it's increasing in price, more than likely it'll just keep on increasing throughout periods of time. And if it decreases in price, that's not very that's not like very uh common so if you notice like a good decrease like by a dollar or something and it's in your price range i would say i would suggest getting it like 100 percent and like this card oh my that increased in price that's from tca gaming though so okay we're good about that one all right if you guys want to know what my second suggestion is for this Pokemon booster packs and booster boxes. Everyone knows this. XY Evolutions, for example. Right here it is. XY Evolutions. You search it up. They're going for thirteen ninety four a pack and about 500 bucks for a booster box. That is absurd. You used to be able to buy this last year for only 150 bucks, And the booster packs were still only like $5 a piece. Was it last year? It was. It was a while ago that you could buy it for a lot cheaper. See, whenever a booster box and booster packs come out, so for example, Vivid Voltage just came out in America. What you want to do is just go to some place. It can literally be anywhere. I just really like Trolling Toad because every time I've got a package from him, it's been in perfect condition, and I buy all my booster packs from here. So, because I really, really trust this site. Vivid Voltage is going for four seventy nine right now, fifty dollars for an ETB. I don't know if they're selling booster boxes yet for this, because I know like there's been a hold for some places. But what I would suggest personally is buying up some Vivid Voltage booster packs and ETBs, because this card set is just going to increase so much in price. Everyone loves Pikachu. Everyone loves Pikachu, and the Rainbow Rare is already three hundred dollars from this set. Everyone's gonna try to get their hands on it, so I would suggest getting as many booster packs and ETBs that you possibly can for this set. I mean, if you can't get, have enough money for this, definitely invest in some booster packs because they will increase in price as well. Like for example, um, what's a good pack? Um, what's a pack that? Okay, so let's go to Platinum series. This was what 20 2008 that these were out I believe 2008 2009 era 60 bucks this one's $105 like that's just another thing to show <laughs> that booster packs increase in price you can get four for $230 like it's just absolutely insane I loved the platinum sets I've most of my cars are from the platinum sets I wish I would have some booster packs that is another thing you got to hold yourself to the point where you don't open up the booster pack that is really hard to do but if you just save the booster pack you could sell that for so much money and not risk getting the uh, good card what I would suggest is just going onto a site like Troll and Toad and just saying heck with it if you want the single so say if I want base set to Charizard I don't know if I can look this up now nah, to look up Charizard 4 Charizard so sorry about that guys, uh, my uh, OBS studio just completely turned off on me. But what I was saying before is if you want to uh, have that single and not open up the booster packs to risk it for the biscuit, then you can just go here buy it for 1200 
I mean, the booster pack itself right now is going for $1,600. I already checked because I kept going because I didn't know my OBS thought, but it did. But the booster pack itself for Unlimited is $1,600 compared to just buying this near mint card for $1,200. And this is the search card. This is the best card you can get out of the pack. So, like, why not just risk it? Like, why... Why would you risk it? Just get this. Unless you want the pack, just don't open up the pack is what I'm trying to say because it is not worth it. You're going to lose so much money just trying to open up the pack and get a card that might not even be in the pack and also costs less than the booster pack itself. The only th reason to buy the booster pack is just keep it in your collection and let it just keep raising in value like it's going to. This brings me to another topic is that... Whenever you're buying cards and booster packs, make sure to watch some famous PokeTubers like Leonhart here. Uh, there's also Unlisted Leaf, Randolph Pokemon, PokeRev, PokeNav. There's just so many of them. If you see that they're opening up packs like Vivid Voltage, Cosmic Eclipse, uh, XY Evolutions, etc., etc., buy those packs. Buy them. Buy them before anyone else can get their hands on them. Because if they see a PokeTuber buying them and getting great cards, great pools, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I want that. So they will go out and buy all of them. If you've ever been to your local Walmart, walk into the Pokemon's card section, all of it be gone, well, that's how it's going to be. So my suggestion would just be go for those packs. So say right here, say if this was a modern pack, he's opening up a Sky Ridge right here. If you can see his thumbnail, he's opening that up. So, he opens it up, gets something really cool. Everyone's going to be like, oh, let's go. Going to go buy that pack. And the pack is just going to raise up in value. So, make sure to be on the ball with these. See if they like the pack. And if they do, go buy that pack while it's still cheap. Because usually, like, Darkness Ablaze, um, Champion's Path, all of those will be like $5. Well, so Champion's Path is at 7 right now. Darkness Ablaze is at 5 Just buy them before anyone else can get, the, can get their hands on them. It is well known that all of Pokemon that older packs start to appreciate and value and it's just absurd. Like a Platinum pack, I think I, I think I showed you that, I don't know. It kind of cut out, so I don't know if I showed you that, but a Platinum pack from like 2008 through 2009 is already at $60. It's just, you gotta play the waiting game whenever you have booster packs. Like right now I have a collection of XY Evolutions it's a lot more than four because I actually got lucky that my <laughs> local family dollar had uh, sealed booster packs from Evolutions and not just the three card ones. There were actually like the ten additional cards. I got all of them. So I have a good collection of those now. And I also got a good collection of Celestial Storm because I feel like that pack is underrated big time. So it's like, okay, I'm going to get this. And that's just how I feel. Um... Say if you like a certain pack, go for it. You never know, it might increase a lot in value. Like, I never ex expected black and white to increase in value, but I'm pretty sure Legendary Treasures is one of the more ex oh. it's one of the more expensive packs now. I can't... Oh, okay, it's not going to show up on Troll and Toad, so whenever that happens, just go copy... Yeah, two, <laughs> $3,000. I never expected this out of the Legendary Treasures booster box. Back in the day, you could just buy this for, what, $100 and you would have it? So, just as soon as the set gets released, for example, Vivid Voltage, go for it. That's all i got to say. And if you want the single out of it, just buy the single, keep it in your collection, get it graded, whatever you want to do. Buy the single separately, get the booster box or booster packs, keep the packs and boosters, and then also have the singles. Like, it's not that hard of a concept. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to just keep trying to get the card that you want. I know PokeTubers like myself, unless the Leaf and all of those, love to pull packs. Um, that's just extra packs we have in our collection that we want to just open up for you guys. Like, for example, my True Steel collection, I opened up because I, I found no use in keeping that box or the packs inside. So I was just like, okay, I'll open it. But uh, if you want to do openings on your channel, I would just suggest like buying like derpy packs like Rebel Clash or Rebel Trash, you know, uh, Steam Stage. Packs that's never going to increase the value because Steam Stage is like still 279 on any site you go to, I believe. Actually, it might be cheaper than that. 
280 okay so it's 280 right here you can buy a booster box still for $110 even though it is an older set it's not gonna increase the value this was an awful 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 set from Pokemon company so basically to end this off it's just you got to uh, I was just making sure it's still going sorry buy the singles that you want if you have the money like if you have the money, get the singles, and then get the booster packs that are going to go up in value. Like, chase cards from, like, Champion's Path, Darkness Ablaze. They both have a Charizard in there. Buy them, because everyone's going to be like, oh, that Charizard looks really nice. If you have the booster packs and booster boxes, you can sell those for so much more money later on down the road whenever people are looking for those cards. So keep those. Keep those in your collection alongside the singles that you have. Like, okay, so for example, my... Detective Pikachu Charizard open from a pack. That's because Detective Pikachu, I felt the need to open it because Detective Pikachu is not increasing in value at all. From what I've noticed, it's been around three bucks a pack since as long as I can remember. So I was just like, okay, let's open it up. Which I mean, I got a good card. But this isn't increased at all. It's 249 still. It's out of stock though. But anywhere else you look, it's pretty pretty cheap. So that is my advice to you guys: buy the singles. Don't don't chance your luck, especially if the card, the chase card's cheaper than what the booster pack goes for. Buy the booster packs and booster boxes. Keep those in your collection. Um, that's basically all there is, and just watch the famous YouTubers see what they're opening up, buy those packs before anyone else gets their hands on them, keep them, and whenever they run out of stock, you can sell them for a lot more than what they bought them for originally. So, that is my advice to you guys. If you guys have any questions, just ask them in the comments, and I will answer them to the best of my ability, and uh, have an awesome day, guys. I'll see you in the next one.